Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. This is a reading for you, Scorpio. Yeah, this is not one of their true intentions. This is just a reading for you. Excuse me, although if it turns into a love reading, we will be you know, looking at their feelings and things like that in the future between you and your person, kind of how they feel about you. All those type of things, what they could be hiding. We're going to do that on Vimeo if this does turn into a love reading. With that being said, this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and anybody with strong Scorpio in their chart, really. So let's get into the reading, Scorpio. I'm going to pull a charm for you, all right? Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. And we have the magic lamp. Okay, kind of cool. It's the only second time I've pulled this. Here's a little magic lamp. Maybe you're making a wish here. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's kind of a magician. Uh, could be a trickster person, yeah. Uh, but this is your reading, so maybe you are kind of pulling a rabbit out of a hat and you have some type of a magical thing going on. You could be making a wish sometimes with a lamp, right? Remember when we were kids, we always made a wish, uh, at least in the cartoons, right? The genie comes out and he's like, make a wish. And uh, <laughs> so let's see what we have, and let's get a couple cards. Let's, let's, let's use the... Love Oracle cards. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. And let's see for Scorpio. I haven't used these cards all day. Um, let's see what we have. I've been using the other cards. I feel like they're super... Uh, this, the Animal Spirit deck. I feel like it's super positive. That's why I kept using that deck. And I want to see some happy things. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. I have, yeah, you're like, me too. Let's see what we got for Scorpio. And, mm-hmm, let's see, for Scorpio, for Scorpio, please, we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, one, enjoying each other, look at that, so this is very cool, uh, Scorpio, mm-hmm, and now we have the healing heart, healing from heartbreak, that's not good, healing from heartbreak and a toxic situation, okay. So, okay, so yeah, this is why I was using the other cards, but I wanted to switch it up. Uh, maybe you are the one who has paradise and somebody else he is healing. Let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. Let's see what we have. Right now your energy is the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away from somebody, Scorpio. Yeah, you are, right? I just picked one card out of 78, and this is you walking away. Crossing you is going to be the Page of Swords. Maybe you are thinking about it. Maybe you haven't done it yet. The root here for you is the Knight of Swords. This is some really fast action. That's what it's about. The Four of Cups is in the recent past. I feel like you are unhappy and you're thinking of leaving somebody. Yeah, I feel like you are. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have. And what's on your mind is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this is like when uh, you don't want to make an effort anymore. You don't want to try anymore in a situation. Okay. Maybe this person was... Happiness and joy for you at one time, and now you are healing from the situation. This could be a third party, though. It could be. You could be dealing with a third party, and maybe you're healing your heart. Let's see what else we have. The magician in the near future. Uh, maybe you are. Maybe you're going to pull a rabbit out of the hat, or maybe something magical will happen for you because you have the lamp here, and now the magician in the near future. So the sun card is showing up, and that lamp card never shows up. It, it's just, I mean, not the card... The charm, it hardly ever shows up. There's like, uh, maybe there's a hundred charms in there easily and it never shows up, okay? Only once. <laughs> and let's see what we have. And in your desire is the nine of cups. In your concern is the sun card. I feel like you, you know, you could be wanting, you could be wanting clarity or you want happiness is your uh, concern, right? Could be, because you look like you could be maybe healing from a situation. And you could be dealing with uh, a Leo for some of you guys, right? Yeah, you could. And uh, But I feel like in the, in the past you were unhappy. And in your environment is the Two of Wands. I think you're at a crossroads here about leaving somebody. I feel like you are. I don't feel like you have left yet. No, Page of Swords, Eight of Cups. Yeah, and uh, wow. You could have felt rejected in the past uh, with the Four of Cups. Let's get on with the reading to find out. The Eight of Cups, Scorpio, is showing up for you with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're leaving because you're holding on to somebody else, or you're leaving because your person is doing that, right? The thing is, though, uh, Scorpio, I'm going to call you Pisces, if you are 
if you're healing, if your heart is healing, then it is your person who is holding on to someone else, right? Page of Swords crossing you. Page of Cups, okay. Um, yeah, you're all in your head about some type of a love offer here and walking away at the same time. The Knight of Swords is the root for you with the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you are like, you could be thinking your person is going to take action here and uh, you could and like go like live some paradise situation with somebody else or you could be thinking about doing this yourself. But again, the healing heart card is showing up here. Mm -hmm. I feel like you are all in your head. You could be thinking that your person is going to walk away from you. I feel like that's the case. You, I feel like you think they're going to walk away from you and they're holding on to someone else. Yeah, I feel like that is more the case here. And let's look at the Eight of Pentacles reverse. This is what you want. The King of Cups, this is you. Right? You could be, you could be, uh, what's, what could be on your mind right now, Scorpio, is like not to try in a situation. Because you could be thinking of leaving this person too. I feel like you are thinking that in your in your environment is the crossroads card. Um, you could be thinking leaving because they're holding on to somebody, or they're leaving because they're holding on to somebody, right? Yeah, let's get another card on the King of Cups and the Star card. Mm hmm. So. You know, what's on your mind here? You could be thinking your person's going to go heal the situation with somebody and not try anymore with you, or you don't want to try with them because they're healing the situation. Maybe that is you healing over the situation. That's a possibility, but I'm not really seeing it like that. But let's see. Let's look at Let's get one more card. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, this is about, I feel like it's about your person who wants to, uh, I feel like you're thinking of just not trying with them anymore because... Uh, or you're thinking they're not going to try, all right? The reading is it's pretty clear here uh, in as much as you are, uh, like you're in a relationship here that is uh, suffering, yeah, because your person, I believe, is holding on to somebody else. It could be you too, though. You could. I don't think it is you, though, with the healing heart because this is your reading. And, uh, yeah, this is your reading. Interestingly enough, with the love reading, sometimes it can get a little foggy, Kind of, you know, the line is uh, a little blurred here about who's doing whatever. But in this reading, this is your reading. So you have both the Paradise and the Healing Heart card. I feel like that is you healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Feel free to switch it, though. You still could do that because they're general readings. In the near future, to me, you look like you're leaving. You could be walking away from... And Aries, you could be leaving because you thought they were a trickster. I feel like that magic lamp over there, I feel like that's what it is. I don't feel like you're making a wish here at all. I feel like the magic lamp is there because you feel like your person is like a trickster. Or they played like a trick on you, kind of, yeah. And maybe in like a major trick, like for like a marriage or for a union, right? Let's see here. But you could be leaving here in the near future. This could be your person leaving you too. But I feel like you are definitely thinking of leaving. Uh, and you could be walking away because you think they're going to offer their love to somebody else. So you could be, you know. And let's get a card on the Six of Swords because I want to know what this magician is. This could be you leaving to manifest, uh, to manifest something. I feel like it is them leaving to manifest something with somebody. Or you're leaving because they're manifesting something. Yeah, with somebody else. And I said that, which is not super clear here, but I feel like it is more that you are healing and you either want to leave because they have someone else. I feel like that's it. Ace of Wands, yeah, this is leaving for a passionate new beginning. Yeah, with the Six of Swords. I feel like this is you leaving, though. Six of Swords, because this person and the Six of Swords, Scorpio, they don't leave because they're not emotionally fulfilled. They don't leave, uh, but they leave really because... They're tired of the turmoil, and they want to get to live in a, uh, 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 like a, uh, a same place, or I should say a sound place, like live somewhere where it is peaceful, sound, right? Yeah, sound, exactly, peaceful. I mean, that's super important, all right? Yeah, it's really important, and uh, it is more important to some people than others. Mm-hmm. 
Let's look at the Sun card, and this is showing up in your concern. You're concerned about a Leo. You're concerned about your happiness. I feel like what this. I feel like in your concern is that you have great clarity here that they have a third party Empress that they could be going toward. Yeah, the Empress is the number three in the Major Arcana. We have to consider the numbers, right? And the Empress is not typically married. She can be sometimes if she's a mother, but the Empress is typically like somebody who is like a, a could be a mistress, right? A, a very beautiful, passionate mistress. Could be a man sometimes. I mean, uh, I don't think they call him mistress. Uh, they should be calling him mister, right? But uh, we're not going to get into the, uh, the terms or the PC. No, we don't do that. <laughs> but my point about it is it could be a man or a woman. It's that simple. But my... The thing about here, uh, Scorpio, let's get back to the, the real point of the tarot here. I feel like you are, in your concern, is that you have great clarity here. This can be a worry. That your person has this uh, empress. Yeah, they don't have the numbers on here, but it is the number three in the major arcana. And uh, the queen of wands, yeah. Your person could be Aries, Leo, or Sag, Scorpio, or they have this queen of wands, who is uh, those signs, right? In your environment, Scorpio is a two of wands. I'm rooting for you, Scorpio, because uh, my rising sign is Scorpio, all right? <laughs> and yeah, people see you according to your, uh, according to your uh, rising sign or ascendant sign. So I guess people are seeing me as a Scorpio. So let's see what we have, you guys. I guess you don't want to talk about me. Two of wands, six of pentacles, showing up in, uh, in your environment. I feel like you're at a crossroads here because of third-party energy. This six of pentacles is third party in these type of readings yeah and it depends on what reading you're doing what context uh you know as the man is giving to a few people right yeah so let's see what else we have could be a woman giving to a couple people here and the queen of swords showing up this is gemini aquarius or libra energy i feel like in your environment though you are uh you could be at a crossroads or you are thinking they're gonna they're they're choosing somebody they're at a crossroads about this Queen of Wands, I believe, unless they are the Queen of Wands, but uh, it could be any sign because these are general readings. It could still be any sign in the Zodiac, but uh, in the environment here is, I feel like it is you discerning a matter. I feel like you're at a crossroads about whether or not you should leave, but I also feel like you are, uh, this could be, you could be also like at a crossroads about them leaving, right? Of course, right? Like you're kind of stuck. Which way do I go? Do I stay? Do I leave? But I, this two of wands can also be, I feel like what you are doing though in your environment is you are, this could be them in the environment, but I think this is you kind of like, you could be calling them out on it. You could be calling them out like, well, uh, are you going to go ahead and move forward with this other person, the two of wands? Or you could be doing this internally. Like the queen is typically internal uh, energy as the kings are more outward. But you could still be calling them out on it, right? The queen of swords, uh, she doesn't take guff. No, after a certain amount of time, she's like, it's time to ixnay you. Because she, she sees, she sees, like she's very intelligent and she has a lot of life experience, right? And she sees, you know, what she's able to see through the BS. That's the queen of swords, all right? And the, uh, the Nine of Cups is showing up here, and this is in your desire. So let's have a look. Let's see. This is something. This is a wish. This is a wish card. Maybe you are really wanting, maybe you're wishing to kind of heal it with this person you're with. I feel like there's more to that card. Let's get a card. Why is the Nine of Cups there for Scorpio? The Two of Cups. Wow. And we'll take this card, the Three of Wands. This is in your desire. I feel like you want to turn your back on this person. I do. You could be wanting to uh, manifest this with them. Let's get one more card. This may not be complete. I feel like you want to turn your back on them and look for other, like, wait for some other ships to come in or, you know, like, go on with your life. I feel like you do. Mm -hmm. I also feel like you are kind of going back and forth about it. I feel like your major energy here could be uh, weather worried a little bit. I don't see the Nine of Swords, but uh, I feel like you are concerned here um, whether or not they're going to leave for this person that they are. Uh, I feel like this person, this Empress that they have. I feel like in your desire position, I feel like you want to move on from this. You're like, well, if you want somebody else, then so be it. Let me go find somebody who wants me, right? Who wants me. Uh, as the queen that I am, right? Yeah, or the king that I am. Let's get a card here. 
And this is showing up just as well. You could want a divorce. I feel like you do. I feel like it's possible you still want this person. You want to manifest it with them. I feel like you want to leave. You could want, this could be saying you want to hold on to your marriage and you justice and you want them to turn their back on this person. Knight of Pentacles. It can go either way, yeah. So we're going to find out all on Vimeo, you guys. All the extendeds are super affordable. We're going to find out all about your person. That's where I call them out for you, Scorpio. Yeah, I am uh, the protector. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're going to go over there. They're all super affordable. It's not really funny, but, yeah. We're going to go to Vimeo, you guys. We're going to see how they really feel about you, Scorpio, right? And uh, also the future between you guys, what they could be hiding or what you don't know about them, what they're fearing, and the block, all right? Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, I do appreciate you guys. And if you need your own reading, that's always the best way, hands down. There is no, this is vice versa. We don't do any of that stuff. Thank you so much, you guys.